Good evening, little Bazingle Bear fans. Today isn't really a big day. It's not a momentous occasion. And I wouldn't say it's really that important. But what is important is that West Ham are playing Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley? Who are they? Exactly. And to be honest with you, on West Ham's current run of form, we should easily beat them. But take into consideration that every single score prediction that I've made with Ethan, yeah, yeah, it looks like we just don't know our team pretty much at the moment. I don't even think our own team know what, who they are at the moment. So let's just talk about something quickly, really. With the current West Ham squad, we're not performing. Four losses on, on the trot, pretty much. And for what I believe is the strongest team that we've had in my lifetime, to be on this current run of form, even with players injured, is not really acceptable. So I don't know really what's going on with West Ham. This is not the West Ham that I grew accustomed to last season. So it's not the West Ham that I know. However, I think in current run form for some players, it means that some people should get the right to be able to earn their place. Players like Obiang. Obiang is a player who I think is so underrated, especially by Bilic. And he's definitely someone who should be considered for today, for starting. Um, Ashley Fletcher, a young player coming through the ranks. Great player that we've got from Manchester United. One of our new signings is a Swiss youngster. He's also looks like an absolutely fantastic talent. I'd love to see him coming into the mix with it. And also, we've got Reese Oxford. Now, to be honest with you, I'm a bit worried about Reese Oxford because I'm, I'm thinking he's performing as a player. So what can he do to get in? Nothing, he's just young. So why would he stay at a club which isn't giving him an opportunity when he's playing the way that he does and he's played fantastic for his, his um, squad selection? But. Babbling all aside, I'm expecting a strong win. I'm gonna go for a 2-0 today. Ethan's gonna join me at around about half time, so you'll get taken over by him. And um, yeah, let's get to the game. Alright, so I bumped into a couple of fans and I'm, they're just going to give their score predictions now. So, with Baz here. How are we doing? Yeah, what's your, what's your score prediction for today, mate? 5 nil. 5 nil. 5 nil. I think it's a big night tonight. Yeah. We need to get some goals and tonight's tonight to get us confidence. Hey, right, you said that now, so like, if we don't deliver, that's a bit like... It, it's going to be tough. I've been confident every week, mate. Unfortunately, we ain't been able to defend. No disrespect to Akron and Stanley. And we've got to be out of cope with ease at their best, you know, and our worst yeah. for the level we are to them. Going forward, we're frightening, mate. We're a very good strike out for it, and that's why I believe we scored five goals. Do you not think our defence gets the whole morale down, though? I do, think, mate, but I think you defend from the front, you know, and, and from the back. True. And unfortunately, when we go forward with that much pace and ability, we're exposed because we ain't got that disciplined midfielder at the minute just to sit there and stay in hold, which we had with Obiang at times last year, Alex. So, so I think Obiang should be starting. Tonight. Obiang is starting tonight. Yeah. Obiang Starting and, and, and I think that will be the big difference tonight. Good. That person just to control the game for us in the middle of the park. Who do you think the goal scorer is going to be? I think Zaza will score tonight. Yeah. I don't know the full side, mate. I know he's playing and I know Caleri's playing and I think a pair of them will get a goal tonight. I'm going to push my neck out and say Caleri will get two. Yeah? Yeah, Zaza. Is that a bad sign from the goal? Yeah, yeah but the, the side right tonight, mate, the side where he should be scoring, and, yeah. and he scores tonight, and you know, you get a bit of confidence, and confidence breeds throughout the side then, and, and it takes us off for Sunday, doesn't it, for Southampton? I can't tell you the other two goal scorers, yeah. I don't know the full side, but right, I right. think both the forwards will get a goal each, and I think Clary might grab two. Thanks for that, mate. You're welcome, Pat. Right. Uh, I'm with Sam now. Uh, score tonight. Uh, I'm going 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. You think yeah. they're going to concede? Yeah, I think they'll score first. Really? Yeah, I wouldn't be Fair surprised. Fair enough. We've got, we've got a bit of a pessimist that you think we're coming back though. Well, mate, I've been watching the last four games. Yeah, no, it's not really much to get happy about. Yeah, exactly. Goal scorers? I think Arbelo is going to get a goal. Yeah? World Cup winner. You Champ uh, Champions League winner. Alright, alright. You know, he'll get a goal. The dark um, horse, the dark horse. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, Ashley Fletcher? Fletcher. I hope so. Well, I've said it, I think he should be he, should he be looks decent, doesn't he? He looks sick, do not he? He looks decent. Yeah. He's, he tries up. I couldn't tell you if Akron's going to score because I've never heard of him. Akron's and Stanley! Who are they? Exactly! Thank you very much. Mate. Sweet, mate. Take care. So it looks like around the Olympic Stadium everyone's quite positive. Like I've said, it's not really an important game, but I think that this game could be the pivotal moment for West Ham to actually turn around their such a diabolical start to a season. So, 
plenty of goals to score need to be taken opportunities to arise and they must be claimed come on you irons all right ladies and gentlemen just got back from paris back in stratford we are local and now it's time to head to the west ham game i'm going to take a look at the starting lineup in a minute because it's been a busy day i think charlie's already filmed quite a lot for me so i'm going to be meeting him at the stadium i'm out of breath it's been a busy day come on you irons look who's arrived right arrived to the match you can see sweaty head but we made it team lineups looking decent I just want to get into the game. It's been a busy day, okay, team? It's been a very busy day. But let's get a win here. Let's perk my day up a bit. <laughs> Half time analysis, Charlie. What do you think? Um, no options, lackluster performance, not really entertaining, hard to focus. It looked like 10 strangers, excluding the goalkeeper, have only just met each other and just playing. Yeah. Yeah. It's 45, isn't it? And it's 0 0 against Accrington Stanley in the third round of the cup. And we genuinely look like we are about to lose. No, it, it's I just, won't go that far. No, because it's disappointing. It is disappointing. It's disappointing. They've had the better chances of us. They've had the better chances of us. That's not, even, that's not even deniable. They've had the better chances of us. Yeah. Second half, see what happens. 2,000 years later. There's six minutes at a time. We're on the attack. We're on the attack. We're on the attack. He's promising. He's promising. He's promising. Zaza, are you a joke, mate? He's got in the way. He's got in the way of Lanzini's shot. I need a piss. This is, I don't need to be here for this. Come on, boys. Do something. Just the, the last few minutes. Just do something. Charlie's going mad in the background. That's because we've just found out that the last minute goal that Dimi has scored to get us into the next round of the English Cup, EFL, whatever you want to call it, I'm not even in focus, is our next opponent is Chelsea. We're going to be playing Chelsea at home. So, I mean, Accrington Stanley held us for 95 minutes. Imagine what Chelsea are going to do to us. Anyway, home time. So, guys, it is in fact the next day, and yeah. What is, I'm happy to get the result. 1-0 against Accrington Stanley. You may, you may think an English Premier League club should be doing better against that, but Accrington Stanley held their own for 95 minutes. So you have to give them a round of applause for that. But Dimitri Payet is Dimitri Payet. You can't deny his absolute, just, it's just class, isn't it? It's just, he's a very classy player. Anyway, we got the 1-0 win. We're through to the next round against Chelsea. That's going to be at home as well. So we will be going to the Olympic Stadium for that. Or should I say London Stadium? But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this West Ham video. I'm going to try and keep these up for every match i might even try and fit in some away days soon let me know if you guys want to see those but yeah i'm really enjoying doing it especially like editing a bit more because i'm quite enjoying that as well so let me know down in the comments i'll see you guys for the next west down video later the fifa 17 season is here everything's going swimmingly i'm so excited fifa 17 is here